guys it's Shikemi Olabisi the farm lady and you are welcome back to another amazing interesting and educative video as you all know we are on our series on how to hatch catfish in our last video I talked about the things to take note of when you want to select your brood stock that is the male and the female but for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to induce or inject your female brood stock using a spawning hormone and i'm sure you want to learn all that so we're going to be teaching us how to inject or induce and also i'm going to be sharing a table with you guys a latency period table that shows when our fishes or when the eggs rather would be ready for stripping after inducing so if you want to learn all that stay tuned and let's learn together hey guys so so here we have our ovaline ovaline you can use any other brand you can use your over prime you can use pituitary gland i have a video on how to extract pituitary gland so i'm going to leave a link to that video somewhere around here so you can watch that at a later time so for today i'm going to be using ovulin like i said I'm going to be using ovulin to induce our female so this is what it looks like up close yes ovulin and then i have my syringe here yeah. so this fish or the fish we are using today is one kg in weight one kg in weight so whenever you want to inject your fish always ensure first thing that your ovulin or your spawning hormone is not expired look at this you can see the manufacturing date and the expiry date so you have to ensure it is not expired that is the first thing okay and then when you want to inject you use what 0 0.5 mil to 1 kg body weight of fish that means like our fish we are going to be injecting today is 1 kg so i'm going to be giving it 0 0.5 mil this is a 2 mil syringe can you see so i'm going to be giving it something around here half of one mil so basically a fish of one kg should be given what 0 0.5 mil of this of spawning hormone okay if your fish is 2 kg you're going to give it what one mil of spawning hormone so i'm going to draw out 0 0.5 mil from this so you put it to make sure you use a very new syringe so you put it in like so and then we're going to take 0 0.5 mil 0 0.5 mil five minutes so I'm going to take this out and drop it so you also have to ensure that there is no air inside so I'm going to let this air out I'm going to let it out like so you can take this off to properly let the air come out so as you can see there is no air inside anymore so i fix this back and we are good to go this is 0.5 mil that we are going to be injecting our female brood stock with so so when you want to inject you're going to need a towel like this you know the catfish body is very slippery so i'm going to be using this to hold it in place to avoid it from falling off this table so i'm going to pick it up and then 
put it here and then we inject our fish so i'm going to put this aside because catfish has been known to be very stubborn and we don't want to break this okay so i'm going to drop this somewhere far from the work area since what i need is already in the syringe so not 90 okay and you have to be careful while doing this okay so we have a hormone here we are going to be gentle because we don't want to get hot while doing this so can you see that and then we push in gently and then you also remove your syringe or the needle gently You massage. You don't massage like this. You massage the other way. You massage the other way. So your one can go into the body system properly. Okay. So that is how it's done. And then you drop your fish back into the pond. So, like I said in the beginning of this video. I want to share with you guys a latency period table now this table basically shows us the time of when our eggs will be ready for stripping after inducing with our spawning hormone now I want you to know this that when the temperature is high then the latency period is what shorter that means the time in which the eggs will be ready for stripping will be shortened so when the temperature is low it does what it stretches out the time in which the eggs will be ready for stripping that means it takes a longer time so here is a table showing that as you can see the temperature side of the table and then you can see the time in hours that is going to take for the eggs to be ready so when you induce and you see that oh your eggs are not ready and you calculating based on probably what you saw online or it will take 10 hours blah 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 and all that then you should know that the reason why it's taking time or the reason why the eggs are ready faster or earlier than planned is because of what the temperature so that is just it so you can use this as a guide whenever you want to what induce so it will help you what calculate that is why it's always good to have your ph meter it's also very good to have what your thermometer it's always good to have all this yes so that is that so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a huge thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section if you have any question at all i'll be here to answer them all and also um next week which is going to be on the Monday 16th of August which happens to be my birthday yay <laughs> yeah so next week 16th of August which is a Monday is going to be my birthday I'm going to be posting a video on how to strip out the eggs how to remove the sperm sac from the male dissecting the male and also how to fertilize your eggs and 
in fact the whole process so stay tuned if you do not want to miss that that is a birthday gift from me to you guys because i'm going to be dropping that video on the 16th of august and we take it off from there you know this is a full package how to hatch catfish so i want to give you the the whole you know the whole thing in full so i hope you guys will be here on monday 16th of august and then i'll see you till then so thank you so much once again for staying with me till this very moment i remain your home girl she can be or let me see the family and it's bye for now